Now, so you know, there's a few differences. So we've got this load pipe groups, we've got save pipe groups. So once you dial this in, you can save it, or you can load it. And, and what I've done, what I've been working on, we're working to create these manufacturer profiles that you know will allow people you know align or allow our customers and designers to quickly load um, and utilize parts profiles let me see who's jumping in here Ike, awesome so before I do any of this what I'm gonna I'm, let me close out of here I'm gonna start from scratch I'm gonna clear out my database for 2020 and show you how these profiles work because it's it's awesome I absolutely can't get enough of it um, so, what am I looking for here? Hard drive, program, 20 beta. So, I've, I've, I deleted my database. So, upon launching the program, it's going to create a whole new database of distributed parts. So, it's not going to, my database at this point isn't going to contain any downloaded manufacturer parts from. Um, parts picker yet. Okay. So I'm going to launch a new drawing. Again, I don't have settings, that's fine. But what I want to show you is how easy it's going to be. So you've got this new parts profile in, in our settings. So what I can do is and this is how the program comes packaged currently we might fine-tune this a little bit before we actually release but right now default profile includes everything that exists in in your database so this I mean you're gonna get everything not not unlike the way that it you know 19 is set up but the goal here is to be able to import a profile that somebody else has created the design manager or maybe something that, that we provide you know as a starting point so let's say that I want to use anvil groove lock fittings I can open this profile it says hey there's 33 parts that don't exist in your database you want to download them so the program is retrieving all of those parts I don't have to go to parts picker and download all of those and now oh. I've got this profile loaded here as you see, the only option I'll have for caps are, are the 70, 74. Okay. Um, if I want to use SPF, instead of GrooveLock, I have the ability to import just my SPF fittings. Now, by doing that, it's going to download these, and it's going to hide all of the GrooveLock stuff. If I want to use a combination of both, I can download Anvil fittings, and that includes both GrooveLock and SPF. Gotcha. Now, the, once I've downloaded this, um, I don't have any kind of generic like threaded fittings. I don't have any generic heads. I don't have, you know, the program's going to use some basic defaults, um, but it's going to be empty because I haven't specified. So all of these red items, the program says you don't have any of these in your current profile. So it's not going to know what to put in the drawing until I add this data to this profile pipe outlets it's not going to know what to put for pipe outlets so what I can do now is merge a profile and I can merge generic pipe outlets flow devices FDC's pumps and hydrants I merge that in and now you can see I've got outlets that I can use for flow switches and weld outlets I merge another profile so I can get some generic sprinklers in here now I've got some basic generic sprinklers Merge it again, and I want to use some ductile iron threaded fittings. Once this is done, save changes, close. Now I have the ability to go back into my fab standards and load a pipe group. And I'm going to load, um, uh, well, I didn't create one specifically for Anvil. Um, coupling I didn't actually load those slide locks I guess but I have the ability to specify short standard finishes based on what I have selected in um, or included in my profile but let's say okay I decide I don't want to do this after all 
Um, instead, I want to use Vitalik. I can open my parts profile. Go back here, go to Vitalik. Tells me, hey, you got 129 parts that uh, don't exist in your database. Do you want to download them? Yes. So this is a quick way. You can do, you no longer have to manipulate and copy databases between designers. You just send a profile, they load it, and the program will automatically retrieve these parts from the database. Okay. So now my profile it only includes Victolic parts. Again, I'm missing some generic threaded fittings and and pipe outlets and stuff like that. So again, I can go back to merge profile, grab my pipe outlets. Go back in here, add my ductile iron threaded fittings. Go back in, add some generic sprinklers. Should be in good shape now. Save changes. Close that down. Go back into Fab Standards. Load pipe group. I'm going to load my Victolic pipe groups. I can go to my welded. I've already set it to push on style grooved couplings short radius grooved fittings orange enamel finish for all of these I've got my IGS group it's just one inch push on fitting push on coupling same for my drop sprigs riser nipples arm overs I want to use IGS for all of this IGS is set there even my galvanized I changed everything pipe is galvanized my fitting finish didn't carry over I need to update I must not have saved this I can tell the program I want galvanized grooved fittings. I didn't load in my GMI, so I don't have an option to change my threaded fittings to GMI. But I could do that by loading a GMI threaded fitting profile, and then I would have an option here to specify GMI for threaded fittings. Yeah, that would be a lot. Now, based on having these things loaded, I can draw in some pipe here. I'll even put in some welded lines. Run auto fitting. Didn't ask me for anything. No options. What did it put there? Exactly what I wanted it to put exactly what I wanted to put push on the 009 so I get a I get an installation ready style coupling with a non installation style groove fitting and it didn't ask me what to do for any of these it just knows based on the profile and based on these fab standard options that I've established that's our goal our goal is to is to speed up designers process by taking a little extra time up front to, to set these fab standard settings, pipe groups, and profiles, so that when you run auto fittings, you're not having to go through multiple harmonization dialogue options. It just puts what's in there, and it, there's no more questions asked. Hopefully you're going to have a uh, little step-by-step -step tutorial. Oh yeah, we're, we're already working on putting together um, training material for, for these changes. Um, because in addition to that, we also do have you know new hanger assemblies where you can create your own hanger assemblies. And again, we're, we're putting together training material to show you know step by step how to create and, and utilize this new hanger assembly tool as well. So I ran through this really quick because I've been doing this constantly for for testing all of these parts. Um, it, there's there's going to be a learning curve. It's going to take a little bit of time, but once you understand, it's in the long run, it's going to save a lot of time from getting having to constantly select different, um, you know, different fitting arrangements. Okay. Makes sense.